Hello everybody, today I will be sharing how I breed my millipedes. Now, the most important aspect when it comes to breeding or keeping millipedes is the substrate. I use a mix of substrate. My substrate mix that I use for all my millipedes contain cocoa fiber, peat moss, topsoil, rotting wood, flake soil, and shredded cuddle bone. The depth of the substrate depends on how long your millipede is. You can make it deeper than how long your millipede is, but this isn't always the case. But for the majority of species, this is how it should go. I like to provide spanking the moss because 1. They enjoy eating it, 2. It retains humidity, and 3. They and their babies can hide it. For the enclosure size, I'm currently using this um, thin wall food container that you might get when you buy food and stuff. But it really depends on your species, and mine here is a pretty small species, locally collected, most likely undescribed species. Um, they're pretty small, like I mentioned before, so they, I provide this size container, which is not that big actually. But with my millipedes here, you can see this the usually recommended space um, being represented. Um, Millipedes also enjoy wood and coverage, so make sure to provide a lot of leaf litter and rotting wood like this because they do like munching on both and I also like to provide pieces of bark for them to hide under. They currently already uh, eaten up all their leaf litter, but I'll definitely restore it soon. I like to use, for me, I like to use rotting hardwood because it's readily available, pretty soft and pretty cheap. When you get eggs, they're often they as fecal pellets, but when you do get babies, you can see these tiny little white C-shaped creatures, and those are the babies. I also don't recommend throwing away a lot of the fecal pellets, because they can make up a really important component of their diet, especially at young stages of their life. Of course, leaf litter, rotting wood, and their substrate isn't the only thing that they eat. So I also offer supplementary foods such as commercial invertebrate pellets, fruits, and vegetables. I keep my millipedes in room temperature, which is around 20 to 26 degrees Celsius. And if you're comfortable, they're comfortable. Anyway, this is by no means the only way to breed and keep millipedes, obviously. Um, this is just how I keep them. And... Yeah, definitely do your research on what species you'll be getting and how their care and husbandry should be. So, yeah. Like I said, most species differ from each other. And I'll just like to introduce you to all millipedes that I currently keep at the moment. Here is Oxidus gracibus. I have a pretty small colony of them at the moment. This is Trigonulus carolinus also known as the scarlet millipede. They're a pretty widespread species throughout Asia, and in my experience, they're pretty prolific. Last one today is Anoplodesmus sausuri, um, which are all currently paid leagues at the moment. I've lost all adults, but um, yeah. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.